Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad for my six kids. And today I got to go on a date breakfast date with my wife, which was fantastic. And we got a handful of sales to ship out now. And I'm a little behind the ball because prioritizing other things, you know what I'm saying? Um, look at this. That's what the sun looks like on my cell phone through an eclipse glasses because today's that day. And I don't actually care, but I do have a preschooler who has been preconditioned to care and uh she will be home during the time of the eclipse and i don't think it's supposed to uh, be cloudy they were calling for maybe clouds so no harm in buying some eclipse glasses for a dollar and 25 cents at the uh, grocery store and spending a little time outside with my daughter today but i just can't imagine why a person would get excited about it it's the moon it's the sun they're up there all the time I had these at my dad's house yesterday because I bought them all on my way to go into his house. And my sister and I were holding, we're looking up at the sun and doing this like, oh, look, the sun disappeared behind a shadow. That's what it's going to look like tomorrow. And you can get a preview with just your finger. Just being silly. Anyway, uh, my brother contemplated, I don't think he's actually going to do it, giving up eBay and just focusing on other ventures. Um... But in so doing, he, in the contemplation, he brought me a bunch of shirts that he had listed or was going to list things to that he was liquidating. And so I paid him more than I would pay at a thrift store, but less than they're worth so that he can make some money and I can make some money. Um, and this was the first one to sell. And I don't remember. So this is like the lizard from the Budweiser ads. Nice. Uh, Ian, this one's 1998. I don't remember a ferret being part of that. You, my friend, are an incompetent ferret. Which is a funny shirt, single stitch on a tag I've never heard of, size large. Um, I paid $125 and some trade bait for a bunch of shirts. This was one of them. I have no idea what my cost of goods would even be. Um, but that one was list. That was the first one to sell. And there were a bunch of banger shirts in there. So, uh, I don't know. I'm not counting cost of goods, but that one only took three or four days to sell. And it sold for, I think I had it listed for like $16.99 and somebody sent me a $13.99 offer and it's selling. They, they bought it plus shipping, but the shipping was like seven bucks. So, um, making good money. And that's a reasonable price if you're, uh, Shipping is out of whack. Okay, so this Metallica shirt, I found, I remember finding cheap at a Goodwill, and it is officially licensed. I tend to steer away from these canvas tags because a lot of times that's what people on Etsy will use to use to make bootleg, not licensed stuff. This is just a blue Metallica shirt, very reminiscent of Beavis and Butthead. It sold for $14 free shipping. This is a bag full of Calico Critters, and they sold, this is what they are, $25 plus shipping. The shirt had been listed for months and months. The Calico Critters probably only been listed for a week. So I'm walking back from the neighbor's house. I hear a delivery truck, and I uh, get out there in time to see FedEx driving away. And the uh, there's a little package on my porch, and I was like, I don't remember ordering anything five houses down the block they uh and these houses are not close together they not even they're only one number the same in our addresses they just threw it on whichever random ports they felt like and drove away so i made sure it got to the right person but i'm on a walk now holy cow so like the beginning of last summer or something i paid two dollars a piece for a bunch of old oil cans this one is like cardboard. They call it composite. If they're metal up here, then they tend to be worth significantly more. Wolf's Head, if they're local brands, small brands, things like Shell, Harley, those will command some money. But these uh, smaller brands are less available. So they're, uh, I don't know. I don't know the market super well, but I like to smell, a s smell. I like to sell the small brand stuff uh, because you can buy it cheap generally. If this said Harley Davidson on it, 
I wouldn't have been able to pick it up for two bucks. Uh, sold for this. Now this one sold for 10 plus shipping, but I had a bunch of them that sold pretty quickly and pretty well. These two shirts, both gas and oil also, uh, Dodge single stitch on the Marina tag. Cool shirt. Uh, if, especially if you drive a Dodge truck. I drive a Dodge Stratus. Dodge Ram single stitch green, just a big spell out. Um, I had for a long time, I thought it would do well. Obviously it didn't. I've had it for probably a year and a half and it didn't sell. And then this, uh, man, I thought this was gas, heat, fire, size small. That doesn't help it any. A uh, really cool Harley World War II uh, from Fullerton, California. But it's the 50th anniversary uh, with the Harley patch in the bottom. I think I paid 9 or $10 for this shirt, thinking that it would be a $40 or $50 shirt. And a year later, it sold for on an offer for $15. And I've had it listed for $20 for a long time, and it didn't sell. So, obviously, uh, the market just isn't there to buy that shirt at higher a higher price. So, I sold it for what it would sell for. And though, the reason that I accepted 6 and 15 on these shirts without countering is because the same buyer bought them both. And one was plus shipping and one was free shipping. And it doesn't really matter which, I don't think. But... Then though that's $21 worth of shirts, free shipping or plus shipping. These shoes came from the store buyout. Uh, so I'm like a dollar into them. They're nice looking Nikes, but they're not super desirable Nikes. Sold for 23 something free shipping. Buyers all in at 25 even. Um, and that's fine. Those will fit in a, a shoe box and ship for like eight bucks. This one is another Calico Critters, just pieces and parts of play sets. Calico Critters do really well if you can find them cheap. That sold for $20 plus shipping and has been listed for like a week. Uh, picked this up from a picker. It is a Dino Eye uh, Jurassic Park from Burger King 1997. And uh, so it's Lost World the sequel to Jurassic Park. I paid 10 bucks for it. It sold for $29.99. I don't mess with watches that are not operational when I get them, unless this is the case. And I'll pull this out of here and show you. So this one is kind of dead stock. But on the back, there are screws. So you can unscrew that. And then when I buy watch batteries for, you know, the coin batteries for anything, I buy 20. If I need one, I go on eBay and I find a good price for 20 shipped, which might be six or eight bucks. And I, and you, you're paying, you know, uh, 15 cents a battery. And then I just keep them around. So I bought this not working. It had screws in the back and I had the right battery for it because there's really maybe eight or 10 batteries that are common for things like this. Vintage toys that take coin batteries. So uh, I had the right battery. I put it in, it worked and I paid 10 bucks, had the battery already and it sold for $25 plus shipping in about a week and a half. This shirt sold for 1050 plus shipping it's spider-man and it's on the old marvel's mad engine tag and these are sometimes dated 2012 and this is a an xl just a kind of generic spider-man nice soft tee from 2011 um amazing spider-man it's just a cover of a of a comic book mad engine the older, the better, but sometimes I don't do super well with Mad Engine. I certainly wouldn't buy anything that says Mad Engine. It doesn't have a have a physical tag if it's a screen printed tag. But good subject matter, Mad Engine stuff with the older tag dated from at least 10 years ago can do fairly well. So we have a lot of kids and we know that not all babies take bottles the same. So Desiree found these bottles 
two packages. They were on Walmart clearance for like $2 and 50 cents. And she's like, well, at that price, it's worth trying these. And Ruby did not take to the Tommy Tippy brand that we, and that doesn't mean I wouldn't recommend it necessarily. They're perfectly fine bottles. It's just different babies mouth shapes or whatever. They just do, some babies do better with different bottles. And so we've had, I think all of our kids have used a different brand of bottle. Um, and so we, she bought these because they were cheap. R Ruby did not take to a Tommy Tippy that we had. And so we didn't bother to try open these and try them. So I listed them for $21 free shipping. And they sold. And that's making money and giving somebody a deal. I don't remember where this came from at all. It's a Duran Duran tour shirt. But it's like that's a tour from like 2010 or something. Paper Gods. So it's not a vintage banger. This I know I got on Whatnot. One of those dollar auctions, 10 cents. Figure out if you think it's worth your time to buy. And it, uh, I think I paid $6 for these. And they sold for $17.99 free shipping. So making a little bit of money. The, I like those things because they're fun. You can really hit home runs. I got an item for $16 and sold it for $400. And I got these for six dollars and sold them for 17 and as long as i keep getting on the upside i'll lose money on some stuff or break even on some stuff but most of the time i'm on the upside and so it's super fun okay so this game price charts at like a 100 bucks but it's not a hugely desirable game it's not the kind of game that everybody's going to want to play so it's a like scrolling shooter um and so a hundred dollars is basically is based much more on rarity than it is on uh desirability as a playable game which makes a difference for collectors like there are people who are trying to get every game for sega and, or for um uh, nintendo or whatever and so they would have to shell out whatever they can shell out to get a game whereas a lot of people are just trying to get good fun playable games and so $100 on this is not necessarily everybody's cup of tea. I took a, I said all that to say I had this listed for $100. I took a $75 offer because it's all profit to me at this point. Uh, this here book, I paid $52 for this book on whatnot on a dollar uh, auction that was 10 seconds and me and another guy battled it out on Dungeons and Dragons, Die, Vecna, Die. This, everything that the guy was presenting was from late 90s, early 2000s. This book was reprinted in 2021, uh, but this one had a dollar, like Barnes and Noble dollar clearance sticker on it. So then you know that it isn't new. Uh, and so the, the original is worth around $100 and the reprint's worth like 40 bucks. So I went to 50 and then not knowing, and then I got it and it does have the original 2000 stamp in it. And I am not a big Dungeons and Dragons guy. I do buy it when I can find it because it's worth buying most of the time. Uh, but I am a big Stranger Things fan, and Vecna is a character that is popular with Dungeons & Dragons characters. He's the main bad guy in the whole thing, uh, eventually. And uh, he becomes the main bad guy in the Stranger Things world as well. And I thought about holding this until Stranger Things 5 drops, and then it probably is going to skyrocket in value. But I listed it for not for a hundred dollars and got an $89 offer. And I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I'm making money. I got to own it for a minute and I made money. So that's good. Uh, $29 free shipping. I pay, paid five for a pile of these $5 each for a pile of these. This one sold for 29 cassette tape holders, fake wood. They do well. I sell them every time I have them. Sometimes they have four feet on them. If they're missing a foot, just pull the other feet that are on there off and show that it doesn't have feet. Um, if the thing's cracked, show that it's cracked and it really doesn't affect because most people, I mean, it's going to, if it's, 
if this tray is cracked here, it displays the same. It still holds the, the cassettes. It'll sell. Um, so I picked those up. If they're five and under, a friend of mine had a pile of them. And uh, he's like, you want to give me five bucks a piece for them? And I did. Uh, and then this cable sold for $9 free shipping. It's easy as it can be. And when you're buying video games in large lots, you end up with a lot of random cables. So I, it's not something that I would have counted cost against whenever I bought whatever video game co collection this came from. This is an Xbox, an original Xbox AV cable. And I sold it for 10 bucks and it puts five bucks in my pocket, four bucks in my pocket and as easy as it can possibly be to deal with. And I'd rather list it like ADH Dave, for instance, or Kevin Commonwealth Picker have been like, well, unless it makes me $6, it's not worth my time. What then do you just leave it sitting in a box or do you donate the $4 instead of spend it? Like it takes two minutes to make that listing. You run your business, like Commonwealth Picker buys more than I do. He has an employee. He has a whole family that does the work with him. So uh, his time is probably better spent doing other things, especially if he's paying somebody. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work out to pay somebody to list that dumb thing. Uh, but, you know, I think that you can list. Uh, you don't go sourcing an item that you're going to sell for $10 free shipping. But when you buy things in a lot and one of the things is worth $10 free shipping, it's worth listing you already have it sitting there. Okay, so both of these are from the store buyout and sold for $17 free shipping. These 501, 3832, while 501s are desirable, and this extra tag part, uh, sometimes this double X will be down here and that would make them more desirable. This extra tag part means something to somebody. These kind of silky feeling tags mean that they're too new to care how new they are and size 38 is not like i'm in a 40 guys in a size 38 are not buying fashionable jeans to look hot or you know whatever it's you're just buying something that fits and so not spending a fortune to get the ones that fit you and make you look just a certain way so size 38 is too big to worry about i mean the it's the cut but it's too big to for anybody to care Ex about all the nuance. So anyway, this seventeen fifty pull free shipping on those, uh, and they'll cost me six or eight bucks to ship. But they were from the store buyout, so I bought them for a dollar. This is a light bulb, an LED light for inside a refrigerator, and there were eight of them. And this one sold for seventeen dollars, and I've got seven more to ship to sell, and uh, these are going to make me money for a long time. And other than the hat that I haven't found yet, I'll go find it now. That's everything that's sold. Okay, so for some reason, this had an item location, said it was in a specific box, but it was in the not item location box, just of generic hats that aren't item located. Did uh, United just do it? Manchester United, Nike, like stretch fitted hat. So I got this at a yard sale for like 50 cents and I was excited to find it because soccer stuff does super well. And a year and a half later, it sold for $7 plus shipping. So it didn't do super well, but normally, like if it was a soccer jersey, I imagine it would sell for three times that, which would be really good. But this hat just wouldn't sell. Eventually it did $7 plus shipping. I'm still thinking soccer, as far as an American audience, people who are buying my stuff is way on an uptrend. And I think it'll, I think it's still worth buying, but that particular hat didn't fit the mold, evidently. It's not a snapback, so that doesn't help it either. Can we admit that for some part of it, buying things to sell on eBay is the same, is gambling? Um, I went gambling the other day on high bid auction, and I paid $40 for a box of lighters. And there was one Zippo in there that was pretty good. And there was one uh, Ronson in there that was pretty good. And I'll make money. But all, there were, I think, I ended up at like $3.50 because I think there were 12 and I paid $35, $36, something like that. Um, and well, that would add, add, work out to be even. Maybe the, there was 11 and I paid $36. Anyway, I, 
I'm in my head, I paid $40 for all of these lighters because there was a buyer's premium, all of that mess. And uh, these two are cast aluminum blocks and then they're mull milled out to have uh, to have lift arms. That's called a lift arm lighter. And then the strikers are uh, supposed to ride up against the flint. They're sold as not working. All of my lighters are always sold as not working. And so they are... These sold for $11 plus shipping for the two of them. Those are the first ones to sell, and they uh, sold in about a week. I'm going to be a little while before I get my money back on those, but on the lighters, but I won't get hurt because uh, even if I take half of what the Ronson and the Zippo are worth, and there's a handful of Ronsons, and then I had a large lot to sell as like just project lighters, and I should get my money back as soon as any any individual one of those sells and I'm back I'm into the profit after these are sold. So I took a little bit of a gamble on some lighters. These are starting to get me back into the black, but uh, we got a long hill to climb on that. That is actual everything that sold unless something sold in the last 5 minutes. Let's refresh the page. Nope. All right. So that's it for now. I got to get this stuff packed to go get Evelyn and then we'll see what else comes today. What's special about today, Evie? The eclipse is happening right now, and that's super fun. Not, I, I mean, I don't care a lot, and I can't make it show up on camera, try as I might, with my eclipse glasses. I mean, I guess kind of. Um, Careful, it sounds, they sound like damage. They're half moon. You have half a moon, only it's the sun? Yeah. You look super cute in your bibs. So this is our special eclipse episode. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, following, clicking the bell, all the things that you do. Check out the links below for my eBay, Mercari, whatnot, and my other channel. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.